The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks is leading a growing movement to educate residents about the growing black bear population here in the Magnolia State. Today I spoke with the department about ways they're collecting information on the species. Anthony Ballard with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks. Thanks so much for being with us. We're talking about Mississippi black bears today and you guys have a mission. You want to start tracking the populations and figuring out uh, their their habits and other things. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, a lot of people don't realize that here in Mississippi, we've done black bear research with the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries for over 20 years now. Um, we This is in, in uh, conjunction with Mississippi State University, and we've done a lot of tracking and a lot of data gathering already. And kind of what we're trying to do right now is update our, our uh, population estimate to see what the what the state of the population is right here in 2024. And one way you're doing that, I find fascinating, and I think you've already done this with 30 black bears or so, where you're actually putting collars on them so you can monitor their activity. Tell us a little bit about how that works. So the GPS collars that we put on these bears is a really big part of the research. Uh, obviously, it's gonna give us position data, but we can also tease out other things like habitat, home range size, uh, and then for our females, we can actually find those bears again during the springtime and do what's called den checks. So with den checks, um, bears have their litter of cubs in the den during the, the winter months. And so we can actually collect reproductive data at that point too. So we can look at how many cubs there are, if those cubs are healthy and, and get some reproductive parameters as well. And the end game to that research is what? What is uh, the department trying to to figure out about the black bear population? Well, so what you have to do when you're trying to put all these pieces together is you have to get as much data as you can. And so we're gathering positional data, home range, you know, things about the, the nuts and bolts of, of black bear ecology. But then we're also trying to get things that are specific to our state and our situation. So a big aspect, a big aspect of that is the genetic component. So all of the black bears that we catch and even the ones that we don't, we're actually putting out uh, what's called hair snares. And every hair sample we get from an individual is telling us more about where that population originated, where that bear might have originated, and what might be the density in certain areas in the state. And so the more of that data you can collect, the more strong your data set becomes and the more information you can find out down the road as, as that data starts to compile. Now, as far as compiling that information, what have you learned so far? D does there seem to be something changing in terms of regions of the state or behavior of the black bear? I wouldn't say necessarily behavior, but you know, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is we actually have a lot of influx uh, in our population from Louisiana and Arkansas. Both states have a, a much higher density, uh, generally speaking. And so there's a lot of bears that come, you know, from the river, uh, excuse me, from, from across the river and, uh, and come to Mississippi. And um, so, you know, like I said, we're, we're getting a lot of animals that we already have marked that we know of that are going back and forth. And so it kind of speaks to how much influx and movement there might possibly be between the two states. Anthony, I have about 20 seconds left. Uh, what, what do you say to the general population? They see a black bear. Should they worry about that? Uh, we do have avenues to report it, and we also have a Facebook page, uh, Mississippi Black Bears is what that's called, and we ask you to report any black bear sightings you see at mdwfp.com and go to the Black Bear Program. All righty. Well, Anthony, uh, good luck with this project, and thanks so much for joining us on the Mississippi Coast. Thank you very much.